tomorrow's my birthday and Riley asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I said, duh, to buy an army truck. We're Riley and Courtney Casey. Frustrated by the nine to five, we set out to make a living making things. Through your incredible support, we've been able to bring you along for the ride, and we can't wait to share our next chapter with you. We are headed to brunch. Cause it's Courtney's birthday. Happy birthday, Courtney. And then we're gonna go do something way more exciting than brunch. <laughs> Stay tuned. There it is. It's very large. Look how small our car is next to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. And it's huge. I think it will make an excellent dump truck. And it's also got seating for 15 people. <laughs> How are we getting this to Idaho? <laughs> You're driving it. Step one is to make sure the tire holds there. I'm surprised by it, but it appears to have a normal Schrader valve for filling the tires. Uh, a socket set, we've got ratchet straps, we've got toe straps, we've got hand tools, we've got multimeter. We brought the air compressor, a bottle jack. <laughs> Jumper grinder. cables, grinder. The volume of this tire is much bigger than the volume of this tank. Stick your hand in there. No way. It's got some fuel in it. I don't know how much, not a lot, but it's got some fuel. We have found that the best way to clean stuff is with air, because you just blow it away. Make it someone else's problem. I'm so excited, I didn't really sleep last night. I spent most of the night looking at YouTube videos of these trucks and reading about them online. So I think I'm actually gonna slide all the batteries in place because they, they have these little caps and then I'll hook them up. I just really don't wanna accidentally arc something into the wrong place on this. Something beeped inside. Yeah. So what could happen when you hook up the 24 volts? I don't know. Are things gonna happen? I don't think so. Is the artillery machine gonna go off? I think the machine gun will start gunning. Battery. Why is it screaming? Oh my gosh. The beeping noise it's making is literally so loud that we can't talk to each other. So Riley's gonna put earmuffs on, get in the cab. I'm gonna hook it up and he was, he's gonna try to figure out what the heck is screaming at us. It's the key chime noise from army people with earmuffs on. And I don't really know what all these things do. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. switches in the truck and it's not like a normal truck there's not like an ignition you put a key in he figured out how to turn it off <laughs> what do you call that seat uh, this is the fun seat <laughs> <laughs> that's where boone rides we can now confirm that it runs i mean the second he pushed the button it fired up how do you get down from here so my army guys have bad knees yeah this shot out of the exhaust when it fired up. It is not currently leaking, so it's either out of oil or it doesn't leak. We're gonna hope for number two. It has oil and it doesn't look 
nasty. Stuff on this is so easy to check. So here's the coolant. It's got two sight glasses. So you always want to make sure there's coolant in here. And then you don't really want to see coolant in this one. So there's a little bit, it's a little bit over full. So we check the coolant, check the oil. Check the transmission fluid. It's got new batteries. We're gonna check the differential fluid because the we've heard the CTIS system can actually sometimes pump the oil out of the rear axle. It's tight. <laughs> Lots of oil. We are now going to intentionally start it up to see if we can get the air pressure up because the brakes are actuated locked because there's no air pressure. Apparently you turn this. What? Apparently that's on. We're about to try to drive it for the first time. We're gonna start by just taking a lap around the yard and see if it'll even move. Oh my goodness. The beeping is the alarm for the, the air brake system and eventually the air will come up to pressure and it'll stop. There are no brakes. So we are trying to figure out what's going on because we can't drive a vehicle home that has no brakes. So I was underneath the truck and we're trying to figure out what's going on with the brakes and Jim hit the brakes and I, it startled me and I smashed my face into the underside of the truck. Step one is to remove the skip plate. Hopefully then we can get to the check valve that we think is corroded. <laughs> Not a good sign. This is some kind of spring plunger that should seal against this. It's being held open for some reason. So we need to clean this thing up and figure out what's going on. <laughs> I'm using a flapper wheel to try to clean up the seat that the valve seals against. All right, we got the valve freed up now. I'm sure that messing with an old army truck is exactly what Courtney wanted to be doing on her birthday. Do you think we fixed it? I sure feels like we're at least getting somewhere. <laughs> we make Jim drive it so that if he runs into stuff, it's his own stuff. <laughs> nope. Well, shoot. Fixed two problems, but there's still another one. Getting dark. We didn't fix the problem. We're gonna have to come back tomorrow, hopefully armed with more information and more tools. And Riley's face is broken. <laughs> Overall successful day. <laughs> and happy birthday, Courtney. Stay tuned. We're back home now. We are hesitant to go back out there until we know more about the brake system because otherwise we're not gonna know what we're working on. So diving deep into the internet of these trucks. We have the army service manual and we are headed back. Loosen supply air hose at foot control valve and check the presence of air. Got the brake pedal. You had to press the brake pedal and then if there was air present that meant that the valve was functioning properly and it is. So, on to the next thing. Okay, go for it. Ready? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Yep. Unsure if it's a good or a bad thing, but we just followed the entire diagnosing manual and we didn't find anything wrong. Time to dive into the next set of diagnostics. Do we have? Which we didn't print out. Well, Riley wants to just try driving it and seeing if it somehow fixed itself. I think probably out of frustration. It makes me super nervous, so I'm hiding in the car. This probably isn't the most effective diagnostic tool, but basically I'm just gonna try driving it up and down this driveway a little bit and see if something about the way the brake system acts changes. I'm gonna release the parking brake and uh, give it a shot. It's the first time I've driven this truck like more than just a quick reverse
this and go forward. This is, this is super cool. I don't think that test really yielded much, but it sure was fun to drive the truck a little bit. All right, we are losing daylight and I don't think we're gonna win this battle today. We've diagnosed everything that we can with the information we currently have. So we're gonna go home, do some more research, post in some forums and see if we can't get some more insight into what could be going on. After some more research, probably sounds like we're having an issue with pressurizing the air system for the brakes. That's not something that we're really confident we can diagnose and fix and fix confidently before trying to drive it home. So we decided to call tow truck. And honestly, the tow truck price was not that unreasonable and it's a good peace of mind. Also, I think Riley might actually be kind of excited because they're bringing the heavy wrecker. <laughs> but it's not nearly as fun as picking up a truck, fixing it and driving it home. Do you feel like this truck just likes to defeat us? A little bit. We were talking about on the drive home that we feel a little bit humbled. We're usually pretty quick to solve problems and this problem's a little been, been a little bit more of a challenge, so. A fun challenge. It's not defeat, it's see you later. I think that might be a tow truck. Getting the truck home is only the first step. Drop a comment below with what you think we should do with this massive beast. A huge thanks to John and John Boys Towing for coming out, getting us hooked up, and getting us safely towed back to Paso. It only comes on a very 